Hello friends, this is Mohit Suri, your favorite international lawyer. I am the managing partner at M Legal. I had the transactions and uh, the international mobility practice here. Uh, in our UAE week, today I am going to be talking about business setup, M&A and other opportunities in UAE and also, also discuss the various systems like the legal system and the taxation system in UAE. If this is of interest, please watch this video till the end and please subscribe to our channels and follow me. If you have more queries, you can actually send me an email or contact me. Uh, business setup in UAE is very simple and very transparent at this stage. You have a lot of options. You can actually uh, just set up a new company there. You can acquire a company. You're free to acquire any company. You can acquire the assets of a company. You can establish a joint venture in UAE. You can merge with an existing company. If you feel that there are opportunities, uh, you can actually do a lot of things. Uh, the legal system in UAE is again uh, federal. Basically, you have the Supreme Court, which is for the entire UAE, and then you have the local courts there uh, in each of the uh, districts or each of the states, I would call it. Uh, you, uh, the legal system is based on civil law and the Sharia forms uh, the basis of it. Uh, but now in modernization, UAE has come up with uh, an option for you. If you want to be subject to common law, they have the, the, the DIFC courts and the Abu Dhabi Global Markets Courts, which which you can actually uh, settle your disputes as per the common law, as per the British law, and use all the uh, precedents which have been held uh, in in the UK courts. So that gives it a big advantage. As far as the alternative dispute resolution con is concerned, you have the mediation and the arbitration all at world levels, like the standards are global. It's not like uh, they've just come up with a system which is suitable for their country. It's it's suitable for the entire world. You can actually uh, choose to settle your international disputes at the uh, at the Dubai International Arbitration Center or even the Mediation Center. You can use it as your jurisdiction. Company setup is not too tough. You can you can actually uh, choose the type of company you want. Uh, you can choose a mainland company if you want to set up anywhere in the UAE. Uh, the main advantage is that you can uh, set it up anywhere, uh, whereas a free free zone company is limited to uh, the the free zone which is designated area, and you cannot set up an office beyond that region without uh, setting up a branch office in the mainland. Uh, and then you have the offshore company whereby you don't set up uh, a physical space in UAE, but you still have a company in the UAE and you do your banking there. So the options are there. Uh, they have their advantages and disadvantages, which we can discuss in detail. And now let's come down to the main advantage of UAE. That's the taxes. There is no income tax. Yes, true. There is no income tax. The VAT is just 5%. And you don't need to register for VAT till AED 375,000, which is pretty decent for uh, like most of the very small businesses might not need to register for VAT. And if you have international incomes, your VAT is charged at 0%. You might have to register if you cross the threshold, but you might not need to uh, pay any VAT because or because, because it's charged at 0%. And we have all services as far as UAE is concerned. If you plan to expand to UAE, you should contact us. We can help you in every way possible. We can help you start, choose your structure, uh, do your registration, choose the best way or the best location for your business. Or if you have any contracts, we can help you out with them. And if you have disputes, we, in alliance with our local partners, uh, can help you address any issues that you might have in moving to the United Arab Emirates. And as we, as I always say, 
moving to another country or expanding to another country are major decisions and they have uh, their effects can be felt for years so you have to be very careful at choosing who you go with at m legal we have a wide array of practices and exposure to a lot of industries so we can help you avoid all the pitfalls and choose the right area and the right right sector to be in and be be compliant with all the local laws and uh, i would also like to discuss in the next video the uae reciprocating territory agreement with india uh, the opportunities for investors in uae which are coming up like the uh, renewable energy sector uh, and other sectors which people normally don't associate with the middle east region and the expo 2020 uh, i think the opportunities are uh, are like i think sky is the limit when it comes to uae and dubai as they call it the city of gold is really the city of gold where a lot of people have made a fortune and i think it is waiting for you and if you have any queries please feel free to contact me please follow me um, and us at our uh, social handles and uh, if you have any queries feel free to contact me thank you very much have a nice day